so uh, or you uh, yeah so it actually produced um, uh, in in the power of 10 now what happens is that it actually moved if we go back to the code um, if we go back to the code then we can see that we have got 20,000 or more uh, 201,234 which means it took the value let me run that again which means it took the value and then it moved that decimal point to the left side by five places which is it moved the decimal point like this one two three four and five that's why we get this e plus zero zero five now that those zeros are actually quite meaningless but nonetheless our program has it or the compiler has uh, included them after it has compiled the program but what happens if we try to move on the right hand side right now we have moved on the left hand side so you can do the similar thing just by using uh, zeros before the uh, decimal point let's have a look so let me erase this off um, I guess it goes something like this Okay, we can erase off the trailing zeros. Now let's save this and let's run this. Okay, now because we are moving off, let's rerun this. Now because we are moving off to the right side, that's why we get a value that's negative because right now what we are doing is that we are moving one two three and four so the exponential notation has the form of a dot b into 10 n so it means that there might be some number after this decimal point but there can only be one single i mean there uh sorry for that there can only be one digit before the uh, decimal point and there can be as many digits as you need after the decimal point but the rule is that in your exponential notation before the decimal point you can have only one single digit that's why we see that inside our output now because we are moving four places to the right that's why it has become something like this 10 to the power 4 so we moved to the right if we move to the right the power would become negative if we move to the left the power would become positive so that's the rule in exponential form but we don't actually need that almost if you're doing huge calculations and, you, you, and mostly about weather forecasts or any type of uh, scientific data if you want to show them in exponential notation then you should use this type of format this specifier so let's move on to the filled width specifier and we are going to solve that trailing zero problem using our filled width specifier so let's have a look let's close this now the first thing that we are going to look at is let's add uh, let's actually erase this off let's add 20.34 so let's have a look at the problem again let's get back to the F let's run this now we see something quite unnecessary so the unnecessary part is that we have included 20.34 inside our actual value but after the compiler has compiled the code then it has added 
four more trailing zeros. How do we solve that problem? We don't want to see all those trailing zeros, all those unnecessary trailing zeros. So there is a way. The way is to apply a fill with specifier. So let's say we want to see up to two decimal places when the printf function is actually printing something on the command prompt. Let's save this and then get back to the build and run process. Now it has solved the problem. So what happened is that in between this percentage symbol and this F symbol we have added something like this point 0.2 so it is now telling the compiler that print only or take only or more precisely print only the two digits after the decimal place so when the compiler encounters this value it's going to look at this filled with specifier and then it's going to look at the decimal point if it finds that there is a value a filled with value after this decimal point then it's going to assume that you only want two decimal places or you only want to see you only want to see two decimal places on your screen you don't want to see anything uh, beyond two decimal places if you include three in here which means you're telling the compiler right now that you want to see three decimal places after this decimal point so let's have a look again now you see three digits being printed out after this decimal point or there are three decimal places after this decimal point so that's how we define how many digits we want to see after the decimal point but what happens uh, if we want to define the filled width before the decimal point of course there's a way the way is to include a number as a filled width number before the decimal point and even you can even actually remove this decimal place uh, entirely let's get back to the code let's erase this off and let's include 4 let's save this let's run this uh, I guess there is a mistake uh, okay let's include 